What's up everyone, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about drawing C-3PO. But before I get into that, I just want to make everyone aware, because I know people will comment on it if I don't uh, make everyone aware of this. Uh, somebody got mad because I apparently move around too much in my videos and in live streams, and they said I needed to hold still more. So I'm going to try to stay in this position and, you know, not move too much uh, as to the best of my abilities. But, uh... Yeah, if you think that's weird, yeah, I'm just gonna try to see if I can do it right now. It's already physically painful. But anyway, I am going to be drawing C-3PO, so in this, the first, uh part of this video. So this is part one on Sunday. I'll be releasing part two and that's going to be a new series which I announced last weekend is that from now on I'm going to be releasing art videos on the weekends. So on Saturday I will be releasing you know, the sketch and the inking whereas on Sundays I will be releasing the grayscale to color video. And once I'm done with the sketch series I will you know get back to the paintings. But let's specifically talk about this video now. So I'm going to be drawing C-3PO. Uh, after everything that's happened with the trailer and everyone figuring out because he's either gonna die, his mind's getting wiped, uh, if you read the leaks or watched my video on the leaks, you'll you'll know what's gonna happen because all the leaks are coming true. But, uh, so, I forgot to do this in the beginning of my last video, so I'm going to be a good girl and do it in this. What I use to sketch is the Prismacolor colored pencil. Now, I use this red one. This is, uh, Carmaine Red. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but who cares. And, uh, yeah, so I, usually a lot of artists just like to use the Prismacolor Blue because when you bring it into Photoshop, it's very easy to get it, get rid of it. There's a special type of adjustment layer that you just put on and it's gone, and then you can just go, you just take the ink the line work and so unlike the Thanos video I am going to not be doing cross hatching I'm not I, that's not something I'm comfortable with really I like to let my grayscale you know my values make the three-dimensional form whereas you know other people you know majority comic book artists they like to go in heavy you know inks heavy cross hatching what I do is I just take one of these pins that I got from Daiso Daiso is a Japanese dollar store well dollar fifty so this pin was a dollar fifty and it works so well with Copic sketch markers because when you're putting down you know very heavy uh, you know marker ink some pins it'll bleed into it and it'll, that sucks when you know you spend hours sketching out and inking and then you go to put the color and the value down and it just bleeds and it completely ruins your drawing these pins do not bleed now these come in very different sizes they're also a dollar fifty so it's a great deal uh the way that you can tell how big the tip is going to be this is a bigger tip than i use in uh the actual tutorial is uh, the darker the pin, the bigger the tip usually is. And so, yeah, you're going to see me use that. What I'm going to be doing in this is I'm going to be sketching out C-3PO with this pencil and then going in and outlining it and doing the line art. And this is usually what artists use in, you know, a, a digital formula. And, yeah, so uh, I've been talking to a lot. Why don't we just get straight into the video so that way you guys can see me draw while I explain this. All right, so I have my render sketchbook. Do not use a Copic marker sketchbook. Do not buy them. Do not even breathe next to them. They are horrible for using markers on, which is what I'm going to go in in the second part of this video and add in, you know, the values and the color. Now, as you can see, like I do in every single art tutorial, you start off with basic shapes. That's why in every single art book, you will see how when they have the little, uh, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, six, six, and you can see they just start off with basic shapes. You have to get the shapes right, that way you get the proportions right on your characters. Now, C-3PO is not a human. He is a, you know, protocol droid. So when you're drawing something that is not human and it's um, a hard surface, that that's what you would refer to C-3PO, uh, you know, if you were 3D modeling him or, you know, just the difference between organic shapes and inorganic shapes. So even even though you know C-3PO is designed to look like a, at least resemble a human or a humanoid, obviously he is not. He's not an android like Data. You know where Data in Star Trek, he you know he's organic. He he looks like a man. He you know just the skin color is off. The eye color is a bit off. Obviously, C-3PO doesn't have any organic, uh, you know, skin grafts on him. He's just pure metal. So when you're doing something like this, it's going to be very technical, just kind of like in my last video, you know, drawing series where I was drawing Thanos. When I was drawing Thanos' gauntlet and, you know, parts of his costume with the metal, I really have to be critical about 
the shapes and making sure I get the proportions right. Now, like I've said before, every artist has their own style. I tend to not go too much into realism when I am drawing, at least sketching like this. I save my realism for my paintings. With C-3PO, I'm it has a touch of realism to it, but it is still a stylized drawing. So I want everyone to understand that. I make sure I get the proportions right and everything, but I'm not one of those people that's like, I have to get this one wire right and this one little tiny part and this one wire has to cross this other wire or it's not going to be absolute photorealism because that's boring. That's boring to me. When you're doing a sketch, it's your, it's, and it's, uh, it's a way for people to see the way that you view something. So when I'm doing this, this is my own artistic take on C-3PO, and you know, that's usually why people are drawn to certain artists is because, you know, every, anyone, if they wanted to, can draw C-3PO, but when you see the way that different artists do it, and you're drawn to, you know, certain designs, like, I love, love, love the image that Ralph McQuarrie did for the original concept art of C-3PO and R2-D2 on Tatooine, and, you know, even though that looks nothing like C-3PO, that's, you know, the image that I saw that made me, you know, realize that I can have a career as an artist and, you know, that's why I went to college for concept art because of Ralph McQuarrie and specifically the image of C-3PO and R2-D2. It's a very powerful image. It's, the, you know, the screensaver on almost all of my computers and it's just such a masterpiece and obviously that C-3PO is early concept art so it doesn't look exactly like the C-3PO is now and that's part of the beauty of concept art is it's constantly evolving in design and you can just see how I've added so much shapes as I've been talking and how yes you look at that you know what the character is but obviously it has my own style to it so that was all of the line like the just basic line sketch now I'm going in with the inks and you can see this is the pen that I got from Daiso and I'm not again not going to be doing what I did in the Thanos art tutorial I'm just going to do the basic line art so just like an outline now when you're going to be doing digital sketching this is usually what you do you have a couple layers where you work and you just draw you sketch it out it looks like scribbles and then you kind of perfect it you do another layer you know just a uh, draw over and then you go in and you just put the outlines and then from the outlines you can either paint you know uh, sometimes people go in and then they paint you know really measured around the line so that way they can just remove the line art layer and then there's no lines I think that's a really cool technique it's not one I've been able to master yet uh, but I've also haven't uh, tried as hard to master it just because I like the look of line art and you can just see the big difference between the way this one is working out as compared to Thanos you can see that it's flat you can kind of see that there is meant to be a shape just with the way that on C-3PO's chest armor, you see how it has that curve. It doesn't just go straight. And when I draw circles, there is a, usually I will use, you know, like quarters, nickels, dimes to do something this small, but there's also, you can leave things up to the imagination. So if you leave an unfinished line, people just when you look at it, you'll finish the circle. You know where that line's gonna end. And because c 3 has, you know, multiple uh, ellipses on his uh, his little chest piece, sorry, I'm blanking on the words, uh, you know, I added a bit more. Sometimes, uh, for some reason, some of my lines look like they're a bit closer to each other and that they're touching, uh, they're not. Uh, I did adjust the light in this video compared to my Thanos video as you can tell you I think the clarity is coming out a lot better and as you can see I'm adding weight to all of these lines you can see the difference between one of his legs to the other line weight is very important when you're doing a sketch that's going to have you know just an outline no cross hatching or anything and then in part two you'll see me go in with the values and the weight of the lines play into that and adding that three-dimensional shape and I'm one of those people, I love drawing hands. I know a lot of people don't like drawing hands. I love it. I think it's really easy to draw. The things I can't really draw very well are toes for some reason. I can draw a foot just fine, but when I add toes on, it just doesn't work. Maybe it's because I have weird feet myself. And again, <coughs> excuse me, I'm adding in this because when it's in a sketchbook and people see it, 
anytime I've gotten a portfolio review, people love it when I have this because it looks, even though it's obviously not a full on illustration, it looks like a finished piece and people like that. It's pleasing to the eye and it stands out on the page. And then I just outline it with a white gel pen. So I know you guys have seen me do that in you know other videos. That's what I do for that technique. And now I'm just going in and finishing the wiring. This I just kind of, you know, just let me draw a random line. Let me, you know, add another line next to it, another line under it, just a bunch of zigzags as you can see. And, you know, it's not photorealistic to the reference that I'm looking at, but everyone knows that C3PO has the wires under there. And of course, have to erase my line art so that way when I add in the values and color, it doesn't bleed into it. Now there you go. There is my finished sketch of C3PO and you can see the very big difference between just doing line art for the outline as compared to doing the cross hatching. This is the method that I usually use when I'm doing Copic sketches uh, and you know Copic is the markers that I use to go in and that will all be in part two of the Drawing C-3PO tutorial. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed me uh, doing this video of me sketching C-3PO. It's a lot of fun. I love doing this, and I'm really glad that, you know, I, I finally decided to make this official, and every weekend I'm going to be releasing art videos. I will eventually get back to doing painting videos, but I am going to be moving uh, soon. So uh, once I get everything moved over to the new house, then uh, I will continue my painting videos. And I did find my Yoda painting, so that, that's a good to go. Everyone that's been asking about me finishing that it is going to happen I promise I promise but uh, if there's any characters that you want to see me draw uh, draw for this series of sketches uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't that's okay too and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel make sure you click that little bell that way you get notifications when I do other videos and live streams and until next time everyone have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you because we are really 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 going to need it. Bye everyone. What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I have an Etsy store, so if you've ever wanted to own a print of my artwork, this is the place to go. As you can see, I have a lot of recognizable characters, from horror films, to heroes, to Star Wars characters. Some of the notable characters I have on here are Darth Vader, which I did a couple live streams painting, so you can own a print of this painting. I also have Luke Skywalker, the binary sunset version, one of my favorite scenes in the original New Hope movie. I have Darth Maul, which Ray Parks himself actually complimented me on Instagram. And then last but certainly not least, Ahsoka Tano. So if you want to own any of these prints, go right on over to my Etsy store. Again, that's the art of Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of your day. What's up everyone? I have a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799817. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.